Hello and welcome to Battle Report number three for my channel. Uh, thanks to everyone so far who has watched my channel and the, the one comment I got. Uh, the one comment so far has been to try to be less salty, as they put it. Uh, and I think that's totally fair. So uh, sit back and hopefully enjoy my more positive outtake on the uh, thrashing I will receive. Today is a little bit of a different game um, than you've seen before. I guess with three, that's not that much different. But I'm playing a 1,500-point list of dwarves who I am playing. Um, you can see these build out here. Pause it if you want to see any more. Um, basically, I I'm building a dwarf army right now. It is in the pretty initial stages of what I'm doing. I have a number of things built, uh, a small number of things painted. And having not really used them, I, I kind of wanted to bring out a little bit. Um, as a side note to know, uh, my wife and I are planning on attending a GT team event uh, this summer. We are, we are intending to do a Dwarf Wood Elf uh, Gunline Alliance for, the, for this event. So we're trying just to play out a little bit with these dwarves to see what, what they can do, um, and just a few other things, just because I'm not, I'm not that familiar with, with any of this sort of thing. So, uh, this is my opponent. She is playing Wood Elves. Uh, again, it's a 1,500-point list that she threw together fast just to uh, play against me. Um, if you want to stop and pause, knock yourself out. Otherwise, um, she has two spellcasters. Excuse the dog barking in the background. Otherwise, she has a level 4 on Heavens and a level 2 on Metal. Um, the Heavens is something else we wanted to try. It is, it is our intention to try this together in the team event, uh, just to give my uh, dwarves a little bit of a, a bonus in the, in the shooting phase with a harmonic convergence. So, we move into deployment. On the left side are Wild Riders, uh, Deepwood Scouts. All of her shooting has True Flight, uh, a unit of 10 uh, Glade Guard uh, with a level 2 of um, Metal in there, a unit of 10, oh no, that's a level 4 of, yeah, that, that tall guy, he's a level 4 of Heavens. The next group of 10 has the level 2 of Metal and the BSB. And one more group of 10 uh, with just archers. And then on the other side is the Wild Riders and a last unit of Deepwood Scouts. For the dwarves, I have a gyrocopter on the far right. Uh, we'll go right to left. A unit of five rangers with musician and shields. A unit of 18, six, six, 16 uh, guns. Uh, our thunderers with shields, a entrenched with a oh, with a with a uh, the the engineer who has entrenched the organ gun. Behind the organ gun is a grudge thrower, and next to them is eighteen ish um, longbeards with great weapons. And in there is the Thane BSB and a runesmith. Uh, again, you can see the readouts of what they're carrying. Uh, back a couple pages, and then on my far, far, my far right, my opponent's far left is another unit of rangers. So, um, going into turn one. Yes, turn one. So uh, apparently, I missed the. That was also including the scouts and vanguard phase. Sorry, I didn't get those individually. But uh, here you can see the wild riders move up ignoring my ranger bait, which is probably smart. In the center, she just moves everything up, uh, mostly to get into the woods for the plus spell casting and the cover and blah, 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 you know, uh, what else. And on her left, uh, cautiously moves up the wild riders. We move into magic. Magic is 11 to 5 in the favor of my opponent. Uh, she starts off with a harmonic convergence bubble which is miscast. Uh, the miscast uh, just costs uh, one, one level off of the mage, so harmonic convergence is lost. Enchanted Blades is cast. Uh, I let this one go. 
saving my dice for Comet or something else. And with the last dice, she throws at Searing Doom. Um, she rolled well enough, and I failed to dispel. So Searing Doom goes off on the Thunderers, and about four of them fall over. Um, it's okay. Uh, having Grun the, 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 the banner uh, Gr Grungi sitting next to him helps, helps out quite a bit with this. Um, so this is... Uh, what I'm trying to show here is that we start the shooting phase, and uh, the the banner uh, Grungi is just amazing. Uh, I, I'm rolling five and six is like a boss, and this was the first set of dice I picked up to roll, and I rolled six sixes, so I thought that was pretty cool. I should probably take pictures of that. Uh, and then this this picture right here is my left side Rangers, and I lose one guy in the whole shooting phase. Which was amazing, actually. Versus what else? Lose one guy in the whole phase. Yeah, I have heavy armor and shields. Yeah, that's pretty good. Arm toughness four, all of that. But it was still really, really nice. Um, so uh, we go into dwarfs turn one. Uh, not a lot of moving, just uh, angling the uh, longbeards there over, and the gyrocopter moves up as such uh, within within a charge range of the uh, wild riders for sure. But um, with with the full capability of fleeing and very likely getting away, if that's the case, and that's okay. Uh, we move into dwarf shooting, and I flame a couple of deepwood scouts, and my rangers pick off a uh, wild rider on the left, and my rangers pick off a wild rider on the right. So that's pretty good. Um, we get the old uh, organ gun going, and holy crap, Ola. It uh, really smokes uh, that unit there in the middle. Um, yeah, sure, it's long range and soft cover, but holy crap, that was uh, that was very good. I'd never fired one before, so it was really fun to shoot it and, and just watch elves fall over. So, uh, we move into turn two. <clears throat> A number of charges are declared. The white, while right... Wild Riders charge into the Longbeards. The left Wild Riders charge into the Rangers. So uh, those Rangers stand and shoot, and they kill one. So three of them make it in. And the Wild Riders on the right make it in. Um, otherwise, uh, just a little bit of shuffling around in the middle, um, popping the characters out into a different unit, uh, obviously, so that, that, uh, middle, that middle unit is just three guys left. Um, so, <clears throat> we move into magic. Magic is 7 to 4. Uh, I just, I dispel Thunderbolt, because I'm trying to keep that gyrocopter up and going for a couple more flames. I scroll... Okay, so that's dispelled. Comet of Casadora is thrown, and yeah, can you look at what she rolled? I mean, that's, that's, that's really, really good. Like, it's, it's as good as you can get without getting a miscast. So, I mean, fortunately, I scrolled it. Uh, I used the spell Eater Rune, but I didn't eat Comet, so it just doesn't go off. So, not much in that magic phase. We move into shooting, and a bunch of dwarves fall over, and they run away. Um, that's all there really is for shooting, because, again, Grungi is doing its job. Uh, on the left side, of course, the rangers get smacked up good, and they overrun. They don't overrun off the board, uh, but just overrun. And on the right, uh, it's kind of a slugfest. A good number of dwarves fall over, and uh, a couple of the wild riders fall over. But the the wild riders, I, I think the wild riders win, maybe, and they didn't just hang out. Um, my guys are stubborn, so uh, yeah, it it was okay, not great, but it was okay. Nobody important died, at least. So <clears throat> we go on to uh, turn three. Oh, no, my bottom of turn two, excuse me. Um, we move the gyrocopter up to do some more flaming shenanigans. These dwarves on the right rally, which is good. Uh, we move into shooting, and I flame up a few guys. Um, the, the, uh, both the scouts survived the uh, steam, but a few of the uh, glade guard fall over. In combat, we beat up the Wild Riders, and for some reason, 
Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. No, no, I, I chased them down. We beat them. They're down to one guy, and they run. Because <clears throat> she's actually rolling ward saves like a boss, too. It was kind of interesting. But she runs, and I catch her. So some slow, slow, slow dwarves caught that fast calf, which is, which is pretty funny, actually. So uh, that's good. We move into turn three. Uh, in movement of turn three, the wild riders come trugging up to hang out next to the grudge thrower so that the grudge thrower can't hawk rocks at them. Um, I haven't talked about the grudge thrower yet. Uh, it is tuned with accuracy and forging, but it's just been rolling uh, really big scatters and hasn't hasn't really done much uh, as as of this point. So that's that's okay, but just just to try out. Um, so that was movement. Uh, so we jump right into magic. Uh, magic is ten to five. Uh, blades gets off on this unit. Um, I'm not too worried about blades. It just makes her shooting a little easier, but you know that that's okay. But then we get a uh, super irresistible thunderbolt. Uh, thunderbolt was cast on my organ gun because after last turn she didn't want that to be around anymore. Uh, I take two wounds or one wound, yeah, just one wound, which actually wasn't that good. And it was a, a miscast sixth, so it was just a little bit of a magic drain, maybe, maybe that's right. Yeah, small template. And it knocks out a couple of guys. Nothing too serious. Uh, in shooting, the dwarves finally meet their maker. And with all of the archers now uh, trying to finish off the organ gun, it uh, falls over. Uh, the, the real problem I had done is uh, the, the banner of Grungi is up in that unit on the right there, you can see. And that's not... a uh, Terribly conducive for protecting everything from shooting to have it go running out. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, one of my thoughts on, on what I did. So, uh, yep, killed range, killed range. Okay, so uh, dwarfs movement. Uh, the gyrocopter is hanging out, looks like, I guess. I turn uh, the hammers one second yes okay so i turn my hammers around because i know the wild riders are going to go into that grudge thrower and they're going to overrun my hope is they go into the grudge thrower they overrun and i can get into the flank of them with the uh with the long beards i know i know i'm gonna lose that grudge thrower it's gone it can't shoot at those wild riders because they're too close the thunderers can't turn around and shoot it because they can't move and shoot so it's gone and that's that's fine and dandy uh just trying to get something out of it um, so the grudge thrower actually does something this turn though for the, for its last turn alive uh, it gets a good direct hit on this unit of elves and kills a whole shebang of them so that's awesome go grudge thrower <clears throat> turn four wild riders charge the grudge thrower as expected and they can't fail that uh, the archer the what Deepwood Scouts and the Glade Guard with the, with a single mage in there uh, turn to face my helicopter because that's probably the biggest pain right now. And the Scouts just move up a little bit on that side. <coughs> so, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. Uh, Searing Doom comes out. In this magic phase, it was 6 to 4. Is that, is that right? Mm. Nope, seven, seven, yeah, something like that. Anyway. Oh, yes, yeah, seven to six. Excuse me, my notes are a little, a little gobbled because I wrote them this time instead of my wife. Uh, so th Thunderbolt came out, was it spelled? Uh, Searing Doom comes out and kills four dwarves. And then Comets failed to cast at the end. So, uh, shooting takes off two more dwarves. And that's, that's all of that. So we go into combat, and as everyone expected, the Grudge Thrower dies, and the Wild Riders run overrun perfectly, so that I can uh, hopefully smack them inside next turn. So, Dwarf's turn, I do my dive bomb run, whatever whatever that is, where you do an artillery dice of hits as you fly over something. Since I, try, I tried to flame template those guys last turn, and then and nobody died, so I was like, alright, alright, 
it's time to do some business here. Let's just let's just dive bomb these guys. So we dove bomb over them real quick, uh, and we charge into the Wild Riders. So um, I rolled an eight on the artillery dice for the dive bomb, so that was pretty good. And we kill us some elves, so I get points for that unit. And as you could expect, um, the Wild Riders get uh, torn up. The only downside is that you see my runesmith also died too. Uh, she, she asked me, well, wh what can I attack? And I was like, well, you can attack a, a runesmith or uh, some record file or a champion. And, and she's like, well... And I, I like to be helpful, and I said, well, the, the Roosmith's worth points. I mean, he does have a 3-up a armor save, but it goes to a 5-up with strength 4 armor-piercing elves. And she's like, oh, all right, right, maybe, maybe I'll attack that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I get for helping. But anyway, it was it was still fun. So uh, I got my elf skill. That's good. We move on to turn 5. Uh, not a lot of movement, uh, just repositioning, so there's some choices in what to shoot at. The same over here. Um, so, at, at this point in time, uh, the uh, the gyrocopter has been a problem. So, we go straight to magic. It is six to four. A thunderbolt is cast, and I fail to dispel it with dice. Um, so, Mr. Thunderbolt kills Mr. Gyrocopter, and that's sad. But yeah, it is still fun. I, I actually kind of like the gyrocopter. I play. I play Beastman a lot, so being able to like move and not immediately die and stuff, it's, it's pretty good. So it, it did some stuff. It was fun. Um, and then uh, I don't have any dice left, so Comet comes down right there. So that's not good. Uh, but there's nothing I can do about it. So, yep. Turns are going pretty fast about this point, too. Um, I also don't comment much in this about my Coral or my Thunderer shooting. Uh, they're within range, but long range and soft cover, hitting on sixes, it's just, uh, there's not that many shots, and it's not really doing much. So I just haven't really commented on it. But uh, <clears throat> her her shooting, though, uh, on the other hand, kills uh, four more doors. So my champion's just sitting out there, being pretty cool. So uh, dwarf turn, and I decide I want to try to save some points. And for some reason, I decided to run over towards the comet. Um, I thought, well, actually, my thought was, well, let's get the Rune of Grungi over by Mr. Um, Gun Guy there. And that's good. Uh, my other thought was, as you can see in this picture, there was just one elf left with the uh, the uh, level four, the tall guy there. And I was hoping to just do one shot, have it be distributed onto the unit and, and kill that off and get the points for that unit because I'm not getting any points for that archer unit at this point, but I miss, so that's that's about it. Um, and this is just showing that we're just moving around, so that's good. Uh, so not all that happened. Uh, as you can see, just some movement. Turn six. Uh, turn six, uh, the comet, first thing, the comet comes down. Uh, the comet didn't come down last time, so it had an extra tick on it. And so the comet comes down, kills my last thunderer, and uh, a bunch of the unit. So that's a bummer. Um, uh, at this point in time, she has uh, only thing left to shoot at is my main block. So she irresistible forces uh, blades off, <clears throat> which, you know, is, is pretty good. You got five guys left. You might as well have them hitting on twos instead of threes. Why not? Uh, but it was a miscast nine. And a power drain, so the mage took a wound. So sweet. But it also got rid of the rest of her spell dice. <clears throat> so we go into shooting, and she kills two more of the longbeards, but not enough to get the points for the unit. So uh, it's all right. They, they don't run away. They're cool. Everyone's hanging out. And so, uh, yeah, here's we don't bother with my turn six because nothing is going to happen. So, uh, that's the end of the game. Uh, not a lot left on the board, uh, but a pretty fun, pretty quick game, actually. I, I haven't played that small of a game in a little while, and I, and I really enjoyed it, uh, being able to get through the turns uh, significantly faster. So, <clears throat> in the end, it was a Wood Elf victory.
The Wood Elf scored 896 points, with the Dwarfs scored 530 points. Uh, as you can see, it was, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it was it was a pretty good shoot fest. Uh, there, you know, it, it, yeah, it was it was good rolls on both sides. I th I think I think the luck was pretty evenly distributed. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It was a really fun game. So I got I got beat pretty pretty straight up, and and that's all right. So uh, just a few thoughts I have uh, at the end here. Um, <laughs> the, the first note says, "Remember how you uh, equipped your troops." So, uh, if you if you look at the army list build, uh, the Thane BSB has the Rune of Grungi, and he has a stubborn rune, and he has a gun. So, I built I built this list, uh, fully intending to put the Thane in with the Thunderers. So the Thunders will be stubborn. He'll also be in there to shoot with them. Everything will be cool, right? And so the the uh, other intention was to was probably put the the maybe put the engineer with the thunders or not it didn't matter he was just gonna do the uh, do the organ gun but uh, so my intention was to have long beards with the runesmith in with them uh, and and for some reason when I was deploying I just decided nope 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 my thane has to go in my long beards which was kind of a waste of points because my long beards also had stubborn on their banner so they were double stubborn. For no purpose. Um, <laughs> it's just like, it's like I got to remember to read my list a little more. I remember that's why I made it, and that's why I made it like that. But I should probably remember that. And it also actually would have been pretty good to have that grungy standard there the whole time. But you know, that's okay. It was it was still it still performed pretty well. It's nice to see what it can do. Uh, other notes: uh, ballistic skill three is kind of rough in this game. Uh, my thunder is shot every turn. Uh, except the last turn, because they were all dead. But uh, they shot every turn, and I think they maybe killed one elf. Um, maybe two. It was it was pretty bad. Um, they were shooting from turn two, so they, I guess they only shot four turns. But, I mean, at most there were like 12 of them alive at any point, and they were hitting on sixes. You know, yeah, they were wounding on threes. But they're hitting on sixes, wounding on threes. Yeah. It's just a little rough. Um, it, it it was still fun to do, and it's not like they gave out their points super easy or anything. So I, I like them. I thought it was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, so next point says the, the Grungi is pretty awesome. Um, I was rolling five and six is like a boss for all my saves when it was up, um, to the to the actual quite annoyance of, of my opponent. Um, she, she was really excited to roll her sixes to wound my organ gun. And, and then I'd be like, oh, two sixes? Bam! Two sixes back. It was it was it was pretty fun. Uh, so that was good. Um, and, and my last note is just a, a reminder to myself <clears throat> to to get the painting. Uh, most most of my I mean I have a lot of painted beastmen, uh, but I don't have that much painted dwarves yet. Like I have most of my war machines are painted, and I've got like sixteen plus thunderers all done to the to the degree I I think they're really good. Uh, but I have thirty something odd. Long beards put together to go, and I'm gonna have twenty something odd uh, iron breakers, and I have some more war machines I want to put together. So I had a lot of work to do, uh, and just gotta get at it. So, but that's all right, cause I really, really like painting. So, um, please leave any comments you have, uh, or anything you'd like to see or see differently. Um, at some point in time, I would like to do a, a, a photographic video just showing. Uh, some of the stuff I painted. My, my, my wife really likes to show off her stuff. Uh, and, you know, I, I think she would probably enjoy what people would say or not say about some of her stuff. Uh, the only thing is they don't have any good light, light set up. I don't have uh, any, any good diffusers right now. Um, and I don't have a really nice camera anymore. So, but maybe, maybe in the future. Um, I should have another battle report out soon. Uh, I played the same high elf player I played last time to an even maybe maybe more slaughter than before so that was fun um you probably will probably get a kick out of it but anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you next time